Hi friend, in this video I'm going to give you the most detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to remove DRM protection from your Amazon purchase books. In my previous video, which will be linked in the description, I covered the first method, which uses an older version of the Kindle for PC app on Windows to download your books. But in this video we're focusing on the second method. For this you will need the Kindle e-reader like a Paperwhite, Kindle Basic, Colorsoft or Scribe and it needs to be linked to your Amazon account where all your purchase books reside. This method works on both Windows and Mac, so no matter which system you use, you're pretty much covered. To make sure this is fully tested, I bought at least 10 additional books specifically for this. Some new releases from 2025, 24 and older titles and I was able to remove DRM from all of them using these methods. Over time, I've learned a lot from your feedback on my previous DRM videos, so first off, thank you very much for all your comments. Based on all your questions and challenges, I've made this video hopefully as simple and easy to follow as possible, even if you're not tech savvy. I also highlight important steps, things to watch out for and troubleshooting tips in case you run into any issues. Before we jump into the steps, there are a few important things I need to share. This will not only give you a better understanding of the process, but also increase your chances of success in removing DRM. First, during this tutorial, I will ask you to install some plugins. Keep in mind that the version of these plugins may change over time. If that happens, don't worry, I will always keep the latest versions and updated links in the description, so be sure to check there if anything looks different. Next, if any new troubleshooting steps come up after this video is released, I will add them in a pinned comment below. And if the method ever changes completely, I will make a new video. So that's, I guess, another small reason for you to subscribe or stay subscribed. And hey, I've put a lot of time and effort into researching and testing this. So if this guide helps you, please hit the like button and leave a comment to let everyone know it worked for you. Your feedback helps a lot. And finally, please pay close attention to fine names, version numbers and everything I show on the screen. I've seen many people struggle simply because they skipped sections or didn't watch the full video. Take your time, pause when needed and follow along step by step. I'm confident you will get it working. With all that out of the way, let's remove DRM from your purchase books. Step one is to download the latest version of Calibre. Calibre is a powerful and easy to use ebook manager and I recommend it to everyone who wants to store and manage all their books on PC or Mac. You can grab the installation file directly from the Calibre website. I've included the link in the description. I'm assuming your browser downloads files to the downloads folder by default. I won't walk you through the installation because there's nothing special you need to change here. Just install it like any other program. Step two is to download and install two plugins into Calibre, the KFX input plugin and DDRM plugin. Let's start with the KFX input plugin. The link in the description will take you to the Mobile Read website. Scroll down on the first post until you see a file named kfxinput.zip. This file is already a plugin, so don't need to unzip it. We'll use it as is. Now for the DDRM plugin, you will need to download the beta version, version 10.0.9. This is an RC1 release, meaning it's a release candidate for version 10.1.0. To download it, go to the link in the description, expand the assets section and click to download DDRM underscore tools underscore 10.0.9 zip. Important note, when you download the DDRM plugin, you need to unzip it first. A lot of people make the mistake of pointing to the original DDRM underscore tools underscore 10.0.9 zip file when installing the plugin, which simply doesn't work. If you do that, you will get an error message like the one on the screen right now. To avoid this, unzip the original file first. Inside, you will find the actual plugin file called ddrm underscore plugin dot zip. That's the one we need. Now that we have both plugins downloaded, let's install them. Open the Calibre application, go to Preferences, under the Advanced section, select Plugins. Click Load Plugin from File, Select the kfx input.zip file from your downloads and hit open. You will see a warning message, this is completely normal, click yes to proceed. Hit ok, but don't restart Calibre just yet. Now let's do the same for the DDRM plugin. Again, click load plugin from file, this time select ddrm underscore plugin.zip, the one we unzipped earlier. Click yes on the warning. 
Now restart Calibre, either by clicking restart or just close and reopen the program. Once Calibre is back open, let's double check that both plugins are installed. Go to preferences, select plugins, check the box for show only user installed plugins. Expand the list and you should see both KFX input and DDRM plugins installed. If you see them there, well done, you're halfway through the process. Step 3. Enter your Kindle serial number into the DDRM plugin. To remove DRM, we need to enter your Kindle reader serial number into the DDRM plugin. There are two ways to find your Kindle serial number. First, you can find it on your Kindle device. Open your Kindle, go to Settings, tap the three dots in the top right corner, select Device Info you will see the serial number listed there. Second method of finding serial number is via Amazon's website. Go to Amazon's website, hover over account and lists at the top right corner. Click on manage your content and devices. Select the devices tab, click on the Kindle you will be using for this process. If you have multiple Kindles, make sure you select the correct one. The serial number will be displayed under the device details. Now that we have the serial number, let's add it to the DDRM plugin in Calibre. Open the Calibre, go to Preferences, Plugins, find DDRM plugin and double click on it. Select Kindle Ink eBooks, click on the plus icon and enter your Kindle serial number. Once done, close all tabs and return to Calibre. Step four is to convert the books. Connect your Kindle to your Windows or Mac computer. For Mac users, if your Kindle isn't recognized, install the Send to Kindle app for Mac and try again. Your Kindle should appear as a hard drive once connected. When your Kindle appears as a hard drive, open it, go to the Documents folder, then Downloads folder, then Items01 folder. All your purchased and downloaded books will be here. To make things easier, sort them by type, and what you're looking for are KFX files. These are your Kindle books. Now open Calibre and drag and drop the KFX file from your Kindle directory into Calibre. If it appears as a KFX format, this means the DDRM plugin worked and the book no longer has DRM. Note that the book cover may appear in black and white. I couldn't find a fix for this, but it shouldn't be a big problem. Now let's test if DRM was removed by converting the book. Right click on the book in Calibre select Convert Books and then Convert Individually. Choose your preferred output format and I will select EPUB but you have a lot of different formats you can choose. Click OK and let it process. Once the conversion is successful, you will see the book now has two formats. To verify, right click the book and choose View. The Calibre eBook viewer should open it without any errors. And that's it, your Kindle book is now DRM free and ready to use in any book reader or device. <laughs> Troubleshooting DRM removal and conversion issues. If you see a kfx-zip file instead of a kfx file after dragging and dropping a book into Calibre, that means the DRM removal wasn't successful. To fix this, start by double checking that your Kindle serial number was entered correctly in the DDRM plugin. Go to Preferences, then Plugins, find the DDRM plugin and make sure there are no typos in the serial number. Next, confirm that you're selecting the right file. You need the actual KFX file, not any SDR folders or other system files. If you're unsure, try sorting the files by type or kind to make it easier to find. If the issue persists, please test other books. If some books converts fine, but some others don't, it likely means those specific books have a stronger DRM encryption that this method can remove. If you come across a book like that that refuses to convert, please leave a comment on this video with the author and title. So far, I haven't found a book that couldn't be converted, but I'd love to test any problematic ones. Another potential solution is to try an alternative version of the DDRM plugin. Some users have had a better success using an alpha version, which I will link in the description so you can give it a shot. If you're having trouble converting your KFX file within Calibre, or if you're seeing an error message during conversion, there's an additional trick you can try. First, make sure you're on the latest version of Calibre. Then open Calibre and go to Preferences, then Interface, then Toolbars and Menus. Select the main toolbar, then find the From KFX option under Available Actions. Move it over to Current Actions using the arrow button and apply the changes. After that, restart Calibre. 
After reopening, the main toolbar will show From KFX button. Go to the middle column where your books are listed, select the problematic book, click the From KFX button and choose Convert Selected Book to EPUB. If this works, you will have a DRM-free EPUB file that you can then convert to PDF, MOBI or any other format Calibre supports. This method has worked for many users, so if you've been struggling with errors, it's definitely worth a try. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, leave a comment to let me know, and subscribe if you're into e-ink devices like Kindle, Kobo, Remarkable, Books, and all the knowledge related to e-ink technology. And if you'd like to support my work, you can buy me a coffee or become a YouTube member like the group right here, and I genuinely appreciate your support. I'm also a landscape and drone photographer, so if you'd like some high-resolution wallpapers of my shots with a painting effect like the one you see on the screen right now, you can check out my digital collection in the description. Once again, thank you for your support. And if you're interested in trying the first method of removing the DRM with an older version of Kindle for PC app, you can check out this video right here. And if you'd like to hear my thoughts on Amazon's recent changes and how I feel about it, you can watch this video right here. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!